Here are 10 tips to make your ceremony more practical and easy. Number one, think about your personality and how you want to convey that through the ceremony. Are you guys loud? Are you fun? Are you crazy? Are you guys more reserved? Are you romantic? And communicate that to the person doing your ceremony. Number two, lighting. For outside ceremonies, think a bit about where the sun will be, especially during the time of the ceremony. Will it be in shade? Will it be in sunlight? The worst thing that you can have is being halfway in shade and sunlight or dappled lighting from trees. Number three, flowers. Especially when a chapel has very little space, it can be quite annoying if you've got huge flowers standing around. Number four, opening stuff. If the chapel is dark and there are windows and doors that can be opened, open them. The more natural light we have coming in, the better for my photos. It means I have to use less flash. Number five, the aisle. There's an Afrikaans song that goes, Yinkies, Yinkies, stop in a rain. It's basically a bunch of ducks in a line. Now that's fine for outside, but once we are at weddings, we want to see the bride. So give yourself some space, wait until everybody is at the front before you start your ascending down the aisle. Is that the right word? And number six, the entourage. Once everybody arrived at the front, it's great if they can have a seat, that gives us some more space. If it's big and it's open, it's not a problem, but if it's a small chapel, we don't want 21 people at the front and this little block of space to move. Number seven, facing the guests. Depending on your personality, it can be nice to actually face the guests for the entire part of the ceremony. That basically will mean that the pastor or the officiant will be in a 45 degree angle here, the couple will be in a 45 degree angle there. Right. <laughs> if the church is big and you only have a few guests, block off a big part of it so that you've got the people sitting close together nice and snug. Number nine, offering people some water or drinks not drinks, only water. Offer them water before the ceremony. And finally, number 10. We live in Cape Town, also known as Kaapstad. Some people call it Slaapstad. It's basically an unwritten rule that there will always be somebody late for your wedding. To actually get around that, what you can do is block off the back row, you can say reserved, and once the bride is at the front, you get your ushers to actually take the reserve sign away, and then if the latecomers come, they don't have to hang around in the doors. They can actually sit in the back row. Thanks, guys. That's a wrap. Hope to see you next time. In the meantime, please check out the rest of my wedding tips. And I'll see you around. Once everybody arrived at the front. <laughs> okay. Oh. oh.